Hello, everybody. I'm Amanda Rueda, and I'm a Senior Product Manager at GitLab, and I want to show you how I use GitLab for my own job as a product manager. So um, in this video, I want to show you my process that I go through when I'm just kind of checking out how the milestone is going. At GitLab, we have um, monthly milestones. They run the 18th of the month to the 17th of the subsequent month. And so right around this time when we're in the middle, I have a pretty specific set of tasks that I'm doing to make sure things are on track and prepare myself for the next milestone. So I'll share my screen. And um, I'm typically completing this set of tasks here in the issue board. This is my favorite view where I have the current milestone as a list and the next couple of milestones as um, lists as well. This allows me to very easily move things in and out of the milestone depending upon feedback I get, change in priorities. I will typically never disrupt a current milestone unless it's a P1 kind of severity issue, um, but I might find that like during this time, as I'm scanning how things are going, I might find like a newly blocked issue. And as I read more information, identify that, hey, that thing's just not going to ship in this milestone. There's no possibility. And it was unforeseen when I was planning. And so I'll move that out um, here. So uh, let me just walk you through the steps that I'm taking. So the first thing I'm doing is because this is mid month and I still have half of a milestone left, I'm looking for things that are maybe carryovers from the prior milestone and sitting in like a verification or in review. And I'm just checking out those issues to see what the progress is and see if there's any blockers that I can help with. In this case, I think that this was actually closed out. Um, but I am double checking with the developer before we close the issue. I think there was just um, a step missed. So um, the other thing I'm looking for, as I mentioned, is um, work that might be newly blocked. This particular issue was blocked when it um, entered the milestone, but we have hopes that it's going to unblock here soon. So I'll leave that alone. And the other thing I'm looking for is issues that haven't been picked up yet. So something that might be ready for development, or in this case, this one is still in planning breakdown, hasn't been broken down yet. I'm going to go into those issues and see what's up. So this is one that I actually just, um, I added pretty late to the milestone, and that's why it hasn't been broken down yet. And so I have um, tagged the engineering manager and asked for a wait to be added. Typically, I'm doing that before the milestone starts, but in this case, it, we had extra capacity because folks grabbed everything that I had planned, and we brought in a few extra things. So I'm just looking for anything that might be sticking out to me. Um, it's a spike. Um, let's see what else. Ready for dev. This one, it's a one, so that makes sense why it hasn't been picked up yet. Um, this one needs a wait. So I'm going to tag somebody on this to get a wait on it so I can move it to ready for dev. And you can automate a lot of these tasks. If you can define them, you can automate them with like bots. Um, we have a GitLab bot that does a lot for us, but um, some of these tasks are different between our teams, so we can't implement those globally. Um, can you please add a wheat? Okay. So I'm going through and just seeing um, any opportunities where I can help out. And then I'm also checking to see if we're light in the milestone. So we have plenty of work, but if this was like um, maybe 20 points left midway, that's definitely not enough work to sustain the team. That doesn't happen all the time, but it's, it happens sometimes. Um, and so in that case, I would move some additional pieces of work in to the bottom because I have my list in priority order and I would tag my EM to let him know that new stuff has come in. 
At the same time, I might be looking for things that maybe aren't blocked, but just don't make sense anymore to be done in this current milestone if priorities have changed. So I might pull a couple things out and put it in a future milestone. But again, I try not to disrupt the milestone once it's started too much. And this will be the time where I'm going to start looking at the next milestone and adding things here from the future. Um, and then also reordering so that it's in priority order. Uh, so this is how I use a board to see how things are going in my current milestone, to communicate with my team members, um, and to look ahead. Hope it was helpful. Thanks so much.